What's up everyone? So today I'm back to another multifamily building that I'm planning to give you guys a tour. So this one is just a beginning of a burr project. So which I'm going to do a burr strategy and I'm going to give you guys a tour. I'm going to talk about like what I'm going to do and I'll actually how I found this deal because this was a deal sitting on the market for two years. No one really bought it. And here this crazy guy went in, saw an opportunity. So I'm going to share those details as well. So are you ready to check it out? Okay, let's go. So welcome to the building. So this is actually a, a mixed use commercial and residential property. So it's, it has one commercial unit and it has a actual legally it has three residential one commercial so technically it is a four unit building but there the current owner the previous owner whom i bought it from they had already made a layout for two other units so because it was not legal many people give up because he was asking pretty high and there is also a huge lot in the behind where there is a potential to build another four units maybe if i go through the rezoning i can build another eight units so i'll be showing that so again this is where we are in the commercial unit and i'm super excited because this is going to be my physical office the win city office so for the first time we're going to have a physical office because you know i've been waiting for this so it's going to be like a office hack if you guys ever heard maybe i'm using for the first time so i'm going to have my office in this area and i want to make sure once i'm done with all the renovations all the five units should be able to pay all my expenses and theoretically on my excel sheet yes it does i'll be keeping you guys updated once you know i'm done with everything i'm going to do another video share about if it's working the way i did or not so you'll be seeing so let's tour the property for now so this is all going to be my win city office like i mentioned it's like almost a, a 1600 square feet on the main floor and i'm going to have my youtube studio in the basement so i'm currently like working with an interior designer to get a design for my office so for now we ripped off everything i'm going to have a like nice modern open concept look so and then the commercial office lead to the basement where there is a part of the basement is also a commercial and the rest is residential so here i'm gonna have my youtube studio and uh, some entertainment like a bar playing games poker table maybe something i'm trying to come up with a plan there so it still will be part of the commercial and then previously we have this basement which was useless and he kind of you know for whenever you want to add more units you got to get the city permits and the current owner the previous owner i'm the current owner <laughs> so the previous owner did not do any legal process to get the units legal so what i have done before even closing i asked the seller to cooperate with me to get the minor variants to use those two units as actual legal units so which successfully before closing i was able to get the minor variance approval from the city so now i can legally have five residential units So this one is going to be the two bedroom unit residential. So we're going to plan, we are planning to have one bedroom here, one bedroom there and open concept kitchen and living. So it's a pretty decent height. It's probably like seven and a half feet. So currently actually this guy, the previous owner, he actually already installed six hydrometers. So he did some plumbing work, he did some framing, he did some electrical, but he didn't do certain things right. That's one of the reason why he was sitting on the market. So he did separate hydrometers, but it's all 60 amps. So there is no heating and cooling in four residential units. 60 amps is not good enough to add additional units. So now I have to upgrade them to 100 amps, so which I'm going to do. But good thing is I'm going to have all separate hydrometers. This is the second residential that was non-conforming before. Again, this guy did the framing. If you see, there is no lightings. You can see this is like two bedroom, huge two bedroom unit. He framed it. He did a bunch of things, but haven't really like completed it. Haven't got any approvals. So now I'm going to make it a beautiful two bedroom unit that can at least rent for 16, 1700. 
because it's going to be beautiful, brand new, huge. A family can enjoy it. Okay, let's continue the walkthrough. So here we have the side entrance, another side entrance that goes to the upper residential units. So it's more like a three level property. Um, on the main floor we got the commercial plus one residential and one residential in the basement and uh, two residential units on the second floor and one residential unit on the third floor. So we are in the second floor and we got two one bedroom units. Again, same thing. There's nothing in here. He purchased some insulation. He did some framing, like you can see. You can see some, uh, some half, like half boiled eggs. He had some half work done. Got some electrical. He got some plumbing. So this is another one bedroom unit. Again, these are pretty good size units. He just, uh, probably don't have enough energy or time to complete. So that's why now I'm gonna make them beautiful units. He did some electrical again, bathtubs, some framing. He got some windows purchased. You can see good thing is nowadays getting the windows is taking quite a bit of time. Thank God I got some windows. He installed some new windows. If you see these windows are actually new. Each unit gonna have their own separate laundry as well. And this guy actually was planning for it, which I personally love it. He hooked up laundry hookups too. Only thing is he haven't finished. So it's now my job is to make sure each unit have their own laundry. I'm gonna have a separate hydrometers with 100 amps. And I'm going to install heat pumps because there is no heating in this house. There was radiating heating and the previous owner he took it out i don't know what his plan was to do and he didn't do anything so now i have to install the heating and cooling as well so i was debating between heat pumps and uh, furnace and ac but in this units because they were a little bit um, hard to install furnace in each unit it's going to be a lot more noise and all those things so considering everything into account i'm going for heat pumps so let's continue the tour So here is the last final residential unit. This is actually a three bedroom, one bath house unit. It was actually livable, but I didn't like the carpet. Again, you know me, I always love to have a brand new flooring, fresh paint, if possible, new washroom, new kitchen. Uh, so in this one, I ripped off everything already. You can see we even opened up the wall. So there were, I wanna make it an open concept, right? So now it's gonna be like nice, big, open living area with a kitchen in there. So I'm going to do some new windows as well. He, he did most of the windows, but some of them he left it, which I'm going to finish. So we got a small cute kitchen. I was debating whether to redo the kitchen or not. And finally kind of decided to keep it because it's going to cost me at least like 10, 15,000 to do the kitchen. Whereas the current kitchen is actually in a pretty good condition. It's nice, fresh. Just, I just need to clean it up. That's all. This is actually a pretty good size unit. If you see like, this is just the living and the kitchen and we got bedroom. And only just this residential unit got a furnace and AC. This one and the commercial got their own furnace and AC. The other four residentials, now I'm going to the, do the heat pumps that I mentioned. Another bedroom and we got a good size attic room. Another interesting size attic room. It's all wood and I'm gonna do just the flooring. I'm, no, I'm gonna keep this hardwood as is. I'm just gonna change the light fixtures and make it clean, that's all. So one of the biggest selling point for me on this building is because, you know, first of all, this property is located in a pretty central location. It's between Walkerville, downtown and close to Detroit, close to the Caesars, pretty central. Water is literally walk walkable distance. It's like 
400 meters from riverside so it's pretty central location perfect for my office along with that there is like huge room for parking and like i mentioned the last bonus one is this one i'm pretty excited about this part here so this lot this is actually belongs to me so i got this whole lot where i can build right now it's rd 2.2 where i can build four units a brand new fourplex so just as a land value itself is 450,000 ish give or take so i got the lot value along with that if i can build on this one just a, a fourplex right now in windsor is going for 1.2 1.3 so i didn't just buy that building i bought that building where i can office hack and also i can build a brand new which i have in my mind for a while so and i'm pretty sure once i'm done with that once i move in i can pull my money out and eventually work on this one so that's a project guys let me know how do you guys like it if you loved it make sure you know comment below like the button subscribe button don't forget to hit that and see you guys in the next video